हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द बी एस पी सोल्यूशन माई नेम इज संदीप सिंह सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट अवर नेट सोइट एप्लीकेशन विद द पी बी सी एस एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू दैट हाउ यू कैन लोड द बैलेंस शीट अकाउंट मेटर डेटा फ्रॉम द नेट सोइट टू द पी बी सी एस एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स बिगेन for that purpose you are required to log in to your netsuite instance under the netsuite instance you will find the list of all the available cf searches so you are just required to type here the pbcs and hit the search button you will see all the list of uh, available cf searches so here you can see that you do have the uh, pbcs sync balance sheet transaction if you want to load the car, the custom dimension that is customer if you want to load the same from uh net suite to the pbcs application so in our case we are uh, loading the balance sheet metadata account so here you will find the balance sheet metadata account this is our uh this is our target which uh, which we are going to load from the net so to the pbcs application so i have added this save searches and created a copy of this save searches by giving my own name of save searches so i have created a copy by um, by creating a save as and i have given the the own name of my save searches so i have added the prefix over the required save searches so these are all the save searches which i have created a copy of the available save searches so here the available save searches is the balance sheet account so you can see that all the list of all the balance sheet account member is there so these are all the balance sheet account that we are required to load within your uh, within our pbcs application so uh, so now go within your pbcs application under the pbcs application go within the data management under the data management you are required to register your source system so you are required to uh, register your source system so in this case our source system we, i have created as nspbe this is my source system then you are required to configure the uh, configure source connection so for that purpose hit on the configure source uh, but connection and then uh, then type your user id password and the url instance of the net so once you input all these authentication then hit on the configure button so you will get the message that the configuration has been updated successfully then you are required to initialize the connection so it will ask you for adding a prefix to the system created artifact so here i have given the prefix that is ss underscore i have given this prefix to the for initializing the source system so the process has been submitted you can check the status of your initialization go within the workflow go into the process detail here you see the the status of your initialization so, so it is the currently it is in the gray color so it is processing the initialization now uh hit the refresh button until the status change from gray to green so you can see that now, now the status has been changed from gray to green this means that connection with the source has been established now you are required to uh, register your target application in our case the target application is will be <coughs> ss underscore nspb underscore sin dash account so this is my uh, target application that i have created and these are the property of account member so i have selected the property which property is required uh for loading the balance sheet account so i have selected the property account account type then the alias default data storage exchange rate type 
then time balance variance reporting so these are all the properties of the balance sheet account which i have selected here under the target application now go within the import format and um, create the import format so uh, we have created one import format for import format dimension account balance sheet here uh, the the file type should be delimited all data type and the file delimited should be comma here you are required to do the mapping of source column with the target so for account i have mapped with uh, my source column that is child for account type i have mapped with the account type alias default alias default data storage for exchange rate type i have done the source mapping by rate Parent, I have mapped with the parent time balance. I have mapped with the time balance. Similarly, for the variance reporting. Once your import format will be built, then you are required to create a location. So, for the balance sheet account, I have created a location by name location dim account balance sheet, and I have associated this location with my import format, import format dim account balance sheet. Now you are required to uh, create the period mapping. Under the period mapping, uh, go within the source mapping and define the calendar here. So the period name will be Jan 19. Calendar for calendar, the CL, GL year is 2019. My application is start with, uh, with the year 2019 and the period is Jan and the GL period is 1. I have defined this mapping as an explicit mapping. So this mapping will get the preference over the global mapping. So once your period mapping was done, then go into the category mapping. Under the category mapping, I have given that I am loading this balance sheet account for category actual. Frequency is monthly and the target category is actual. Once your category mapping was done, then you are required to go within the workflow tab under the workflow, uh, you are required to do the data load mapping. So before doing the data load mapping, make sure that you are within the correct location. Then, so select the location what you have created for uh, loading the balance sheet account. So we have created the location dim account balance sheet for loading the balance sheet metadata account. Here I need to change the month that is Jan 19. So once you are within the correct location, then you are required to do the mapping. So for account, I have uh, done the like mapping where I have uh, I have done the like mapping. That this means that whatever in the source, the same should go within the target. For account type, I have done the like mapping as well as I have done the explicit mapping where I have defined if my, if my account type within my source is account payable, then it should go uh, as a liability within my target. If my account type is account receivable, then it should go uh, into as an asset within the target. Similarly, for the other account, I have done this kind of explicit mapping. I have done the multi-dimensional mapping as well. Under the multi-dimensional mapping, I have defined if my account type is asset, current asset, bank account, then in the target, it should be stored as an asset. For uh, liability and equity, current liability, account payable, credit card, I have given the target value as a liability. And for equity and retain earning, I have given that this, if the account type will be this, then it should store as an equity within my target value. Then the next member is alias default. For alias default, I have done the mapping where I have written one small script there under this script i have given that in case my alias is uh, null it means it, if the alias is blank within my source then it should store as a blank uh, if the if the alias is there then it should store as a alias within my target after this you are required to go within the data storage where we have done the whatever in the source the same should go within the target 
for exchange rate type i have given that the the source value whatever in the source value in the target it should go as a ending value because for the balance sheet account the ending exchange rate is applied for a balance sheet account for parent we have done the that whatever in the source the same should go within the target that for time balance we have uh, given that whatever in the source in the target it should store as a balance for variance reporting whatever in the source it should store as a non expense under the my target value so once you do the data load mapping then you are required to uh, create a data load rule so in this case our uh, load rule is load rule what we have created created load rule account balance sheet category i have selected actual the period mapping type i have selected explicit and i have given the here the calendar cl uh once you create the uh, data load rule then you are required to execute this load rule so you will select import from source export to target and then you will hit the run button once you hit the run the process will be submitted for extraction you again need to go within the process detail and check the status of your data load rule so currently it is coming into the gray color uh, now refresh this until the status change from gray to green in case of successful loading the status will come within the green in case of uh, uh data does not get loaded you will get the you will find the status under the red color then you are required to download the log, log file and you need to check out the error what is the error is uh, there and you are again required to correct those error and then uh, again execute the data load rule so we have got the green tick mark it means that the balance sheet account has been successfully loaded you can go within the data load workbench and you can also check the status there so if you will find the all the three golden fish this means that your data has been successfully loaded within your target application so uh, now we will check the same within our application that whether the uh, our balance sheet account has been get loaded within the application or not so you see that all the accounts that is within the net suite the same are coming to our uh, pvcs application so these are all the accounts that are within the net suite application uh, we can check, cross check the same that we do have the under we do have 1973 vat on purchase p under other current asset so we need to go under the other current asset then we need to ch we are checking the account 1973 so under the other current asset we should get 1973 so you can see that that this was the account so all the accounts that are within the uh, netsuite application the same we are able to pull from netsuite to the pbcs application in this manner you are required to load your balance sheet account metadata from netsuite to the pbcs application that's it from my side my side in case of any question or support please feel free to visit to our website that is www.pspsolutions.com thank you very much for watching this video thank you